Sitting down with us this morning is Dr. Mark Okusa, the past president of ASN. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Uh, thank you, Audrey, for your invitation. Absolutely. So just talk a little bit about some of the goals and the initiatives that you're focused on right now. So let me just say uh, what Kidney Cure is. Kidney Cure is, was formerly called the American Side Nephrology Foundation, and it's supported by uh, members of the American Side Nephrology, by industry partners, and by nephrology leaders. It supports around $3 million in grants every year to support fellows, early stage investigators, and early stage educators. Um, the, uh, the program is, um, is uh, been very successful so far, and we have um, five programs that we support. The first is the, uh, it was called the Career Development Award, and now it's uh, transitioned to, or it's changed to the Transition to Independence Grant. And this supports early stage investigators so that they develop skills uh, and training to become independent investigators. Uh, the next is the Ben Lips Fellowship Grant Program. And what that does is it supports um, uh, postdoctoral fellows who have finished their clinical year perhaps and uh, are now, and also PhDs who have finished their training uh, as PhDs. And now this is their postdoctoral year and uh, it supports them uh, in terms of um, research support, uh, salary support. Uh, the next is the um, uh, William and Sandra Bennett Clinical Educator Scholars Award, and this supports uh, the, the brightest um, clinical educator, um, and it supports them with salary support so that they could um, and, uh, to, to develop projects or to develop further skills in education so they can disseminate their skills through either their teaching or through their projects to the rest of the world. The next uh, is the um, uh, ASN uh, Harold Amos Faculty Development Program. And this is a, a program that was uh, intended to increase faculty from historically disadvantaged backgrounds. And uh, ASN partnered with them so that they support um, those types of faculty uh, in the area of kidney diseases. And the last program is the uh, ASN Predoctoral Fellowship Program and this supports um, PhDs uh, who, are, who are intended to get their PhD and provides them with a stipend so that they can con continue to do research. Incredible. Where is the uh, largest amount of work needed with Kidney Cure? Um, we've endowed these grants uh, so that we can uh, fund these um, investigators in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. um, and we are well on our way. Uh, we've already fully funded the Ben Lips program. Uh, and what we're trying to do now is uh, completely endow the transition to independence grants for the early stage investigators. And right now we have, um, we're well over halfway there uh, okay. in terms of endowing that program. That's incredible, wonderful. So as we mentioned, you are past president of ASN, 2018 is your year. What have you accomplished in this last year? Well, we've, uh, we've funded um, 46 um, investigators and uh, tw with 27 um, uh, new grants and 19 continuing grants. So we've well, you know, we've really um, improved uh, uh, the the pipeline by 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 funding these grants. Secondly, we branded um, the name uh, Kidney Cure, and uh, and that's really to interface better with our public, with our patients, so that they know that uh, that we're uh, involved with curing kidney disease uh, and transforming kidney and medicine, so that we could um, uh, improve the health of our patients. Lastly, we've expanded the criteria for our grant program so that we could um, be inclusive of the best and the brightest uh, uh, investigators. You mentioned fully funding uh, some of these grants in the years to come. Any other lofty goals for the future? Well, you know, what, what's exciting right now is the, um, is the White House executive order, right. the Advancing American Kidney Health. And uh, essentially that program is, is intended to, um, um, to prevent kidney failure, to improve patient choice in terms of uh, therapy so that um, we can have more personalized uh, treatments such as home dialysis, whether it's home hemodialysis, home peritoneal dialysis, or whether it's um, uh, uh, innovations in terms of new uh, therapies such as um, uh, artificial kidney or, uh, and implantable kidneys. And what Kidney Cure does is it interfaces very nicely with that because it provides the research, it provides um, the uh, resources so that we can make discoveries and, and, uh, and provide new therapies to, um, to align with the, with the White House executive order. And it has to be a very exciting time right now to have a, a federal entity back you in that way. Oh, absolutely. I think um, having the administration uh, uh, focused on kidney disease is really welcomed. I think that uh, 
the, the patients need it. Um, they, uh, they suffer a lot, and I think that uh, we could do much better. And I think with the alignment of the government health and human services, which have been extraordinarily invaluable in, in supporting this effort, has been uh, welcome. Wonderful. All right, Dr. Marco Cusa, thank you so much for your time. Thank morning. you very much. I really enjoyed this.